guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. Today, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be talking about bachelors in public health yet again. I've only made one what to do with your bachelors in public health video, and I felt like I needed to make another one for a multitude of reasons. So before I get started, I'm gonna preface the conversation with a few things. So make sure you stick around and watch the entire video. There are two things I wanna say before I get started and list some additional job titles for people who have their bachelor's in public health and are trying to figure out what to do with it. Don't only search associate. A lot of companies make associate, but somebody else might use specialist. Make sure you're using specialist, associate, assistant, coordinator, etc. You could be missing out on opportunities just because you're only looking at the roles that I gave before. For example, the job title that got some people in a frenzy from last time was environmental health specialist. People thought that environmental health specialists, where they live, they couldn't find any opportunities. I actually gave a very detailed response because when I'm giving you guys this information, I've already done a lot of research on it. And I also already know, because I work in public health, I work in healthcare, I work in pharma, I work in biotech. So what I'm giving you is what I've seen, what I've experienced, or what I've witnessed from other people I know working in public health. The other thing I wanna let you know, and if you haven't seen my video on tips for looking for a job, make sure you go check that out because it gives you great insight on how to look for jobs. When you guys are searching on LinkedIn, you can just type in public health and jobs. A bunch of jobs will come up. Matter of fact, so I went ahead and I typed in public health on LinkedIn right now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna filter it out by experience level. So we're gonna do entry level and we're gonna do associate. Now not all of these of course are gonna apply and it really does depend. So many different jobs come up. We have project manager, we have drug safety public health specialist, we have community health worker, we have program manager workplace diversity, we have regulatory research coordinator, we have privacy program manager. We have science writer, we have substance abuse TA specialist, we have contract early access and IST case manager, we have rare disease program manager, we have research coordinator, we have external affairs specialist, we have regulatory associate for an insurance company. LinkedIn is such a great tool for entry level students. When I first graduated from college, as I've said in other videos, I didn't have that feature. I had to come up with job titles on my own. So that's a great way to look for opportunities that apply to your field. Now, I just wanna run through about five job titles that you can apply to and kind of give you insight on what those job titles are. First, we have a research coordinator. And essentially your responsibility is going to be managing or monitoring the study to ensure that it complies with the protocol. Now, of course, you're gonna have a medical monitor, a clinical monitor, there's gonna be higher level people to really oversee the study. But as a research coordinator, you have a serious responsibility to ensure that the PI that you're working with is abiding by the protocol. Then we have a global health project coordinator. This role title is kind of vast in what you can do, but essentially you're probably gonna be working on different global health initiatives and making sure that that project stays on track. Next, we have clinical research associate. I talk a lot about CRAs. Um, being a CRA, you definitely can enter into this if you have a BPH. Anybody with a science degree, for the most part, can enter into becoming a CRA. You really just provide clinical support to ensure that the study is running per protocol. Next, we have a regulatory coordinator, which is different from a research coordinator, working specifically on regulatory documentation. And next, we have a public health specialist where you likely could be enforcing or working working on different community initiatives depending on the organization that you work in. These are just the general, some additional jobs I wanted to give you in addition to the other video. With your bachelor's in public health, I don't think people realize how much opportunity you have. As a public health professional, and that's how you should see yourself, right? you can work at the local level, the state level, the federal level, you could work with communities, you could work in clinical research. There's so many different avenues that you could pivot to. Of course, applying to these jobs and marketing yourself in the interview is gonna be another step, but these are jobs that you can apply to. Apply to these jobs. Don't feel like just because you don't have everything they're listing out, it's not applicable to you. There are many people who have their bachelor's of public health working these kind of jobs. There are many people who have their bachelor's of science working these kind of jobs. And what's great about being a public health professional is essentially anything that has to do with the population, you likely could find a job. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments or questions, make sure you leave them down below. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.